<laughs> Good morning and welcome back to TV8 Summit Sunrise. I'm Justine and I'm here with Jim Tillich of Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Really good. Beautiful day. Oh, it's been phenomenal. Wonderful. I know. And all the fresh snow. Mm -hmm, it's like it's like mm -hmm. a wintertime painting here, you could even say. Yes. And yes. you do you do know paintings. I know paintings a bit, <laughs> yes, uh, for, for the last many years. Well, it's true, and we're so lucky to have you up here in the high country because you, I mean, I, I say this every every time you're here, but it's the truth. I mean, you go to the ends of the earth to find some really amazing artists, and a lot of times you even bring them into your studio, which is so cool. They come in and they paint. Yes. And you can watch how they develop the artwork because, you know, they'll do a few lines, they'll do a few things. It depends on the artist as to how much they put on the canvas, you know, with pencil. And, and some of them now aren't even using a pencil to put their outline in. They're doing it with the brush. Uh, oh, okay. The side sideways, kind of with a brush, not a broad stroke, but a narrow stroke. Okay. And it's really interesting to watch what they do. Oh, and here here we are. This you were just telling me about this one. This is so cool. So, so tell our viewers about it. Yes, this is David Jackson, mm -hmm. and he came in the gallery a few weeks ago, and he was painting. Mm -hmm. And so as he painted, a lady came in and she said, "Could you do a fox?" She said, "Look at this photograph. I took it." of the fox in my front or backyard, oh my whatever. Gosh. Mm -hmm. And he says, well, sure. So <laughs> he looked at it and he said, this is really a good composition. I'll paint it. <laughs> Just so he like started that. right there. He, he took what he was painting off mm -hmm. and he started painting that, the fox, mm -hmm. got, it, got the setting going, put the fox where he wanted it on the canvas so it was kind of looking in instead of out. That Just is so cool. a few things. Mm -hmm. And so she stood and watched that's about th maybe halfway through the artwork. Okay. Because the fox is where he put the, the main emphasis. Sure, sure. The background kind of followed, and so. That is so cool. She loved it, and she purchased it. <laughs> so. It was like an impromptu commission, more or it, less. No, it was. Mm -hmm. It was. That is so cool. And I have uh, I've had that happen before, but this was the best one because right. it was so obvious. The right. photograph the lady who was so delighted to have him painted and he was glad to have something to paint well yeah yeah good good inspiration yes and then there's other um we have some other uh, images as well mm -hmm. that you, you always you always bring i never know if you're going to bring in art or we're going to have other <laughs> what what fun we're going to have and this um this girl's local she is mm -hmm. katie dowling grew up in the mountains mm -hmm. and she studied with several uh, really good artists and really had a nice time getting into the theory of art, mm -hmm. all the feelings that you want to put on canvas, mm -hmm. color and so forth. So Katie was actually born in Eagle, Eagle mm -hmm. County, and okay. been here all her life. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. so what, you, what you saw there with Katie is that she's starting a still life. Okay. But she puts a little bit more color, maybe, than some do in their still lives. Uh, and so the basic heavy colors are there. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to support it with ah. colors on the side, what it's sitting on, what the box is so on, So like the foundation so is the, the bright colors and then she builds around it. Yes, okay. and it just so happens that in the background you see the Western art of Chance Hayes, the yeah, cowboy Yeah, the cowboy, I love him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got them all in there. I, you yeah, know, you really do. And this was when she was at your studio last weekend, correct? Here in, uh, in Breckenridge. Katie, yep. we had a, sh a show for Katie yep. exactly last mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chance Hayes will be here later on. He'll be coming. But oh, good. Right now he's in the middle of a rodeo. Right, he, he's, he's so also a cowboy. He's, uh, he's a real <laughs> A really good cowboy. cowboy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Um, and then we also have some other, um, oh, this, this sculpture is, is beautiful. I, this was taken on the deck of my house. I brought my wife some flowers. Good and, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but what, what I thought was interesting was that is a very famous artist's work, that cheetah, the sitting cheetah, okay. is done by Dylan Lewis. Mm -hmm. And that piece of art in bronze is about five feet tall. But this is the miniature of it. I would say that was not five feet tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really brought her big flowers. So <laughs> really, make her feel really good. But I put it beside the flowers uh -huh. to uh, just the, do the comparison. Sure, I thought, for perspective. Well, I should bring it and show it to you this morning. You know, oh, because totally. I love it's that. It's this big. It's just the cutest thing. But that big cat has sold for. The big one, mm -hmm. lots of money. I'm sure. He is South Africa's number one wildlife sculptor. 
Wow. His name is Dylan Lewis, mm -hmm. and he, uh, he really captures the feeling. To give you an example of what he does, mm -hmm. he, he, he says, I said, well, tell me what happened the last time you did a sculpture. He said, well, I have to sketch them first. So he's got his sketch pad, it's kind of a big one, mm -hmm. and he was sitting out on the, uh, right at the edge of the jungle, mm -hmm. and he was sitting there sketching water buffalo, which you really have to be careful with Holy moly. everything you do with water buffalo. Good for him. They're down below. He's up leaning against a tree, and he felt some warm breath on his neck, and he looked into the face of a lion. <gasps> it scared him to death. Well, the lion was also watching the buffalo. I'm sure was he was. Waiting for a calf to get separated or that something. That is an insane story. And so he froze. And he sat there, and when the lion left, he says, I left too. I, I would have, I think that was probably wise. Um, and real quick, we're running out of time here. I okay. want to show, we have so many other, we have two other really cool ones. I love this piece. This is uh, Stephen Choka, mm -hmm. one of Hungary's best artists. This is the blue peasant. He painted this in Hungary in 1932. Uh. And, but look at the dignity that he gave this worker, this peasant. Right. The man is on his way to town. He's got his jacket. He's got his favorite shirt on, his vest. He looks vest. very put, well put together. He knows who he is. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. doesn't have to be wealthy to right. know who he is. Right. Just a good man painted by an artist who loved the situation. Yes, exactly. And you're so good at you're so good at bringing all of these to light. And then there's one more that I want to show real quick here. Okay. Um, I love this one. Oh, uh, that's Krantz, Vladimir Krantz, mm -hmm. and he painted. He, he paints winter and snow probably as well as anyone. It looks like a photograph. Yes. It's stunning. And when you go to that place, it's mm -hmm. called Mesta. Mm -hmm. The Mesta River is in Russia. Ugh. And uh, Mr. Krantz is a leftover German baron who, because of a war, ended up being on the other side of the line. So his father became a Russian. So he is a German-Russian A German-Russian. <laughs> well, Jim, where can folks find you? 421 South Main. Okay. And uh, we're there every morning at 10. Mm -hmm. We stay till 8 at night. Wonderful. We've really had some neat people in from Australia. We had a big discussion with the Australians oh, yesterday. Oh, so much fun. Well, yes. folks, be sure to check out the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery and, and chat with Jim. He has so many amazing pieces from all over the world. It's always, always wonderful mm. to have you in and, and take a journey with you. So thank you for joining me this morning. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, always a pleasure. We'll be right back with more Summer Sunrise right after this.